let's break down the differences between flood factor and FEMA. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, is the federal agency tasked with determining whether a property must carry flood insurance. FEMA identifies flood risk by mapping hazard zones in more than 22,000 communities across the U.S. into flood insurance rate maps, or FIRMs, comprising approximately 60% of the nation. The data in these maps, which are developed using the latest science and technology, represent an area's flood risk at the time the map is created, but some may be over 10 years old. So by definition, FEMA's maps are not adjusting for the reality of a changing climate and how these changes will impact the future. It's also important to remember that these maps show a single level of risk for each zone or geographic area and do not take into consideration the elevation changes from property to property within the zone. The zones created on these maps by FEMA are primarily intended to inform flood insurance rates and to help communities make decisions about how to manage the land within them. There are three major categories of zones. The first are high-risk zones, or those with a 1% chance of experiencing a major flood every year. Properties in these zones have at least a 26% chance of flooding over the life of a 30-year mortgage. Buyers in these zones will be required to have flood insurance if they have a federally backed mortgage. The second category are moderate risk zones, or those that have a 0.2% chance of experiencing a major flood in a given year. These properties have at least a 6% chance of flooding over the life of a 30-year mortgage. And the final category are low-risk zones. FEMA points out that low risk is not the same as no risk. While not required, FEMA recommends both moderate and low-risk zones take action to defend their homes as well. The peer-reviewed model used by Flood Factor was created thanks to an unprecedented partnership of more than 80 world-renowned scientists, technologists, and analysts. Like FEMA, Flood Factor focuses on the likelihood of flooding to determine risks. However, rather than mapping risks by zones, Flood Factor identifies risk on a property level for more than 142 million homes across the U.S. and includes areas that FEMA has not mapped. It determines risk specifically to the largest building on a property if building data is available. It also takes into account how flood risks will change over time, with sea level rise and atmospheric changes over the next 30 years, so properties that might not have experienced flooding previously could still be at risk. In addition to the risk factors FEMA considers, Flood Factor also includes risk data for heavy rainfalls and wider coverage of rivers. While a property's Flood Factor score does not determine whether or not it needs to carry flood insurance, it does provide damage cost estimates based on risk and the building characteristics, and it can help you better assess how to protect your investment into the future. In short, the differences between FEMA and Flood Factor lie within the purposes of each. FEMA maps are used to determine development requirements for areas at risk as well as insurance rates for buyers using federally backed mortgages. And this data represents an area's flood risk at the time that map is developed. Flood Factor provides a comprehensive assessment of current and future risk for an individual property and allows users to easily view flood risk information at the property level. If one or both of these is pointing out a risk that exceeds a buyer's comfort level, this is a great indicator to connect with local floodplain professionals for additional guidance.